Okay, welcome to my video on uh, different types and styles of camouflage. Um, this uh, video is to help you decide what sort of camo you should put on your weapon, um, be it paintball or a uh, sniper. Uh, sorry, airsoft. Um, and we'll look at the the different styles and the variations depending on your uh, on your uh, surroundings. So we're going to start off with the tiger stripe. Now, tiger stripe. Um, pattern. Um, that that's a typical tiger tiger stripe. Um, it's quite tricky at first to learn how to do it. Um, it's sort of a bit of a of a knack to do it really well. Um, obviously you can see the the, the uh, how complicated this is. Um, you can get a basic tiger stripe pattern by using uh, masking tape and um, ripping off sort of weird shapes in your uh, whipping off random bits of tape, um, laying them onto your uh, onto your weapon and uh, spraying them, keeping those on, put another bit on, spray it, and you know, keep doing it like that. Um, and then when you take all the tape off, you're left with a, a tri tiger stripe pan. I can't really give much pointers on this because I've tried it once and it went really wrong, really what, really wrong. There we go. Um, <laughs> so. Um, and I tried to do it on my flash hider, um, brand new flash hider, completely fucked it up. Um, so, uh, yeah, you got to be a bit careful with uh, tiger striping unless you're uh, competent. Um, we're just going to have a look at the uh, DPM. DPM patterns. Um, this is like the standard military pattern. Um, I found the picture earlier, it's quite good actually. Um, this shows the diff- that's DPM here. And this looks like either digital or uh, a tiger stripe. I, c I can't say. Whatever it is, it's, it's good. It's better for the surroundings. So you can see the d how important camouflage is for your surroundings. Because obviously, DPM man over here would be shot, and uh, and digital tiger, or whatever, what sort of camo that is, um, wouldn't be. Um, although it does stand out, it's a lot better. The same sort of color greens. Um, this would be better in a woodland where there's foliage on the ground, um, you know, brown leaves and stuff. Um, whereas this would be better um, in fields, vegetation like this, skirting fields, stuff like that. Um, okay, so that's standard DPM. Here's a hard man soldier. Um, that's sort of standard DPM. Um, so you got the idea. Okay, we're going to go on to digital camo. Now, you can. There's two ways of doing this. You can either do it on paper and spray it um, by cut, um, having a, a square. Yeah, I don't know, uh, half a centimeter square squares um, on your on a piece of card, um, and then making random shapes with a pen, cutting it out. Um, Leaving you with a a, a uh, sorry, I've searched that. Um, leaving it with a uh, thing, a pattern. Here you go. That's a digital camera on a paintball marker. It's a good pattern. Looks good on that. Um, and you can see the squares. Um, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, so that's camo, digital camo. Okay. Here's a plane by the looks of it with a bit of a. Digital camo. Oh no, it's a Transformers site. <laughs> oh well. Uh, so that's a <laughs> that's digital camo. Oh well. It you know explains the point. Some sad person's obviously put it on. Okay, so that's digital camo. Now we're gonna go on to a uh, leaf camo. This was the one that I couldn't really find. I I think a gum painting. Um, oops. There we go. Okay. So here's a, here's a, this is a very basic leaf pattern. You can just see on these areas here, up here, there's a bit here. Oops, sorry, mouse is a bit screwing. Uh, up here, here, and some here. That's a very subtle leaf camo. Um, I don't know what this one's like. Let's look at this one. 
That's not leaf gummy. Actually, this picture actually illustrates it quite well. Um, this sort of style, it's not really leaf camo, but it's um, random. It looks like he's just done random shades. He's primed it in the olive green, and then he's, um, or she, um, has <laughs> done random passes with the aerosol can, aerosol paint. Um, yeah. We'll talk about paints at the end, actually, because that's quite an important point. Um, okay. So you got the rough idea of that. Now, let's just look at, um, sniper camouflage. Because snipers use different styles of camouflage on their surroundings, obviously. Um, obviously the sniper itself would wear a ghillie suit. Um, I'm sure if you know anything about, uh, airsoft, um, or, you know, sniping, you would know what a ghillie suit is. Um, here's a picture I just got. Okay, here you go. Okay, um, it's not the best picture in the world. Here's the two people. One guy here, one guy here, you can see his eye. There's a weapon. His weapon's here. You can see the camo and that. I mean, it sort of just stands for stuff. You just glance at it, you, you can't be sure. Um, it's very impressive, that. Um, and he's got, you know, bits of foliage on his weapon. Um, this, with the actual weapon itself, you can buy um, fake moss at your craft store. How are we doing for time? Um, you can d go buy fake moss um, at like hobby hobby st hobby um, stores and hobby craft shops and stuff. Um, so you know you can wrap your weapon. You can also buy tapes. That that's a really bad picture, but you can see he's put a bit of bag on it or something. Um, sandbag material. But yeah, you can buy tapes as well, um, which are okay. They're not brilliant. I don't like them. But they're good for like um, bipods, stuff like that. Um, I think that's just a ghillie. That's a guy in a ghillie, just to show you uh, how can it. Okay, um, so that sort of sums up what I want to show you in this part of the video. Um, I am going to show you uh, how to on how to paint your gun with leaf, um, leaf effect. Um, and I'm going to use a technique that you should all use if you have never painted your gun before. Um, so it's a bit of a first for uh, gun painting on YouTube. Um, so thanks very much for watching. I hope it clears up um, some of your camo needs. Um, as I said, um, I will be making another video. Um, I've also got another video coming of a very, very, very good spring pistol. Uh, yeah, a very good pistol. Spring pistol. It is a spring pistol, doesn't matter though. Um, and a mod you can do to it. Um, it's made by KWC. It's very good. Um, so, stay tuned for the next update. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, and leave a comment, please. Cheers.